What's going on everybody? It's your boy Zenpai coming at you with a review video on Prestige 2021 football. Now if you haven't already, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this content. And don't forget, keep those vibes alive. Now on to the product. We have the Mega Box and the Blaster from Prestige 2021 football. We are going to check these two out and figure out which one's better, of course, better bang for your buck. Now, MSRP, uh, the Mega Box here is about $40 and the Blaster Box is 20, about 20 bucks. On the secondary market, you could probably find the Blaster for probably around 25 to 30 and the Mega Box is probably gonna be around 50 to 60-ish, depending on where you look. Um, but in terms of what the products have to offer, uh, the set itself is uh, 300 cards, 200 base cards, 90 rookies, and 10 short prints. In terms of what else it has, the Mega Box comes with one auto. The Blaster doesn't, um, but you're guaranteed eight rookies in a Blaster. Now, in terms of the contents of each box, the Blaster itself has about 64 cards, eight cards per pack, eight packs, and the Mega Box is a little bit less comes with 40 cards, 10 cards per pack, and four packs. Uh, now, of course, the guaranteed auto definitely hypes this up a little bit more, and in terms of other cards that you could find in here, you could find parallels, you could find number cards, you could find memorabilia cards, autographs, of course, is what we're looking for, and you could also hit case hits. Now, you can also hit the same thing in the blaster box, but it's not guaranteed, uh, I believe you're guaranteed one non-base card out of each pack, uh, and you're all the you're guaranteed like eight rookies. So it's a toss-up between, you know, do you want the auto or do you want to try for something a little cheaper? That's really up for you to decide. And so we're going to be taking a look at both of these to figure out what comes in them. And stay tuned because we're about to get into it. So yeah, let's let's grab this mega. Put these other to the side. And let's grab this box. Actually, we'll just move these back right here. But yeah, if you guys have a uh, ripped prestige, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below, you know, how you like it. Um, also, how do you like the current draft class? Um, obviously, they've only played two preseason games. They're about to go to their third tonight. So, well, starting on Friday. So I'm pretty excited. Honestly, I, I have been keeping an eye on Justin Fields. He looks really good. Mac Jones looks... I mean, they, I, I think all the, the rookie QBs look pretty decent, stat line-wise. Um, so I think, you know, it's just going to be dependent upon how they play in the regular season, who gets a start and who doesn't. Could be due to injuries, could be due to them having like a, a veteran QB at the time, like Garoppolo, Trey Lance. Um, you have Cam Newton obviously starting as well. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's a lot of interesting QBs who are currently in a backup position. You got Justin Fields with Andy Dalton. Uh, it just kind of really depends. You know, Mac Jones is chilling behind Cam Newton. So, I mean, we'll definitely see, but let's get to these packs, shall we? All right, we got Drew Locke, Cam Akers, Jeff Okuda. Okay, we got a little refractor going on. Antoine Winfield. Jalen Waddell, not, not bad. I'm expecting really good things. I also do a lot of fantasy as well, and Jalen Waddell is definitely one of my uh, my late-round fantasy rookies. I, I think I really expect him to do well behind two attack below. We got Chase Claypool. Gardner Minshew, Minshew Magic, and then Ronald Jones. Who's your favorite team? So I'm from I'm from Maryland. So obviously, you know, the Baltimore Ravens are are my team. I'm really expecting Lamar Jackson to to shine, but it all really depends on how well the team does and how well he's good at throwing if he's gonna sit in the pocket. Um Steph we got Stefan Diggs, Joe Burrow, Laramie Tunzel. Oh, okay. We got a little Any Given Sunday action. Sam Darnold. Oh, he's still in his Jets uniform. That's interesting. Interesting. Okay. A little insert there. Let's see, let's do this. We'll put all this stock here. 
inserts here, rookies up here, and then anything else we get, we can take it to the house there. Racy McMath. I'm not gonna lie. I've never even heard of this person. I don't even know what draft number th this person was in or round. Does it say? No. I've never seen anyone pull a Racy McMath <laughs> uh, wide receiver for Tennessee. I mean, you never know with the, the rookies. I mean, if he, if he makes the team, he could, you know, he could shine. Who knows? Kenyon Drake, Devontae Adams, Dallas Goddard, and a little kid reporter. If you want to use that. But yeah, I picked these up. Um, I think I was actually watching Viking 95 stream um, when he was talking about it, saying that there was a drop. Uh, and it didn't happen in the morning. It actually happened in the afternoon. And I got a notification and I went to check and I was like, oh, snap, there's Prestige just chilling there. So we picked up, there was like six boxes. I grabbed the la like four of the last six. And then I just grabbed some blasters as well. Jonathan Taylor, Bradley Chubb, a little Khalil Mack. Extra points, Philip Lindsay. Okay, little insert there. Uh, Demetric Felton. I've heard of Demetric, but um, there's a lot of Browns uh, star receivers. Um, so he's going to be fighting a lot through OBJ, Landry. Uh, it's going to be tough, to be honest. So I don't know. Could Shan Bright could be the you know number three, but might be a year or two. And then uh, we got a Quinn and Williams, DJ Chark, Chris Godwin. Um, <clears throat> It's only been what three three packs. A little quiet, not gonna lie. A little a little quiet, but uh, you never know. One pack could literally turn us around. All right, Ezekiel Elliott. Yo, I feel like Elliott is in like every box, not for prestige, but in like every product, especially select. I don't know how many Elliots I pulled. Uh, whether it was like parallels or just stock base, he's everywhere. Uh, Christian Wilkins. Brandon Cooks. Okay, we got a Camaro's flying high versus the Niners. You know, to be honest, Camaro's a monster. I had him on my fantasy team last year, and I ended up winning the league with, uh, I don't know, it was like a $1,200 price tag as well, um, and it was pretty nice. I can't really say I'm a fan of the insert, though, because it's just like a base card. And they just kind of put, you know, extra print on there. Um, I guess it's, you know, specifically for the moment. If you like the moments, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got a Mike uh, Strakan. Never even heard of this person either. Okay, this is wow. This box is like got the no name rookies all up in it. Uh, Darren Waller, monster tight end. Russell Wilson, of course, QB, and then we got a Chase Young. I think Chase Young is going to dominate again this year. Uh, and then we got another kid reporter card if everybody wants to use that. All right, pack four. Uh, can you do a little better for us? I mean, that was the blaster too. So you know, I can't really, I can't really go too crazy with it. I mean. It's a blaster. I've, I haven't even opened up the blasters yet, and I, I don't. Th I think I've only seen the mega boxes opened, so I'm not really, you know, going too crazy over it. Oh, it looks like we got something here. Quentin Nelson, uh, Noah Fant, love Noah Fant. Matt Stafford now on the Rams. Really hope that he shows up there. Oh, oh, a Jalen Waddle. Hey, there's my boy. Okay, nice little season greetings there. That's a that's a pretty nice one. We'll put that there. Uh, then we got a uh, Tylen Wallace. All right. Um, I'm really hoping that the um, rookie wide receivers show out for, for uh, Baltimore this year. Uh, obviously, one of them is already hurt, Rashad, but uh, we shall see. Julian Edelman, who retired, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Deontay Johnson, um, and then LaVishka Chanel. Wow, so what is this, a wide receiver box? But, yeah, it's unfor I don't even know when Rashad Bateman's going to be coming back now. So I guess Tylen Wallace has to fill that void. And, you know, we're hoping that Sammy Watkins is going to stay healthy. But honestly, who knows? It's Sammy Watkins. He's hurt like almost every single year, or at least doesn't make all the games. DeAndre Swift, Emmanuel Sanders, T. Higgins. Oh, we got a time stamp of J.J. Watt. All right. Uh, Trey Nixon. Okay. And Terry McLaurin, Jalen Hurts. And a LaMichael P. Ryan for the base. And then we got another Kid Reporter card if you want to check that out. Feel free to use it. All right, two more packs. Honestly, with the product, I'm kind of, I don't know. The blaster is not really exciting me, to be honest. I mean, the the season's greeting is pretty cool, but I haven't seen anything that's like, wow, this is amazing. But, you know, the mega could be different. Philip Lindsay, Jamie Collins. Jack attack. Okay. And then we got, oh, we got a rookie, Sam Ellinger. Okay. 
nice little extra point Sam Ellinger. Honestly, I do like the refractor. This is like really, really cool design. It's just, yeah, that's really nice. Awesome, awesome. So I'll put them there. I should have grabbed those sleeves, but I'll sleep after. And then JV and Hawkins. Honestly, if you're a big fantasy football guy like me, um, JV and Hawkins, uh, you might want to keep him on the radar just because, you know, they've all, like Atlanta's always str struggled with uh, running backs since what, the Steven Jackson days? Um, they just really haven't had anyone that's like wowed them, right? And then we got Miles Garrett, Mike Evans, John Brown. It's, it's been tough. And even with who they have now, is it, is it Melvin Gordon who, who, uh, no, I thought he was on, um, the Broncos. That might be the, still the case. Uh, way, maybe it was Todd Gurley. Yeah, yeah, Todd Gurley, but he's not on the team anymore. I think they, they cut him. Byron Jones, Marlon Humphrey, Michael Pittman. We have something here. I'm not sure what it is. Michael Pittman. Oh, what is this? Prestigious Pros. Harrison Smith. Okay, okay. That's pretty nice. I don't think that's the case hit. I honestly don't know. I think that's just a regular insert. I'll have to go back and look because honestly, I do not know. All right, and then we got Eric Stokes. I think Eric Stokes is going to be a pretty decent uh, cornerback, to be honest. But, you know, as far as collecting cards, Eric Stokes isn't really all that great. Tyler Lockett, Antonio Gibson, Darius Slay. And then we have another kid reporter here. Feel free to use that. All right. So first little blaster, uh, you know, it, it's okay. It, nothing, it's nothing crazy. Um, we're going to open the, the Mega, see if it's a little bit better. We have, you know, a little bit more options. Um, Ten cards per pack four packs per box so let's see here let's do it at the bottom here there we go um yeah honestly i, I really don't know what to expect out of this um <laughs> from some of the videos i watched you know some of the some of the pulls were like really really nice but they all haven't been like that i mean if the blaster is gives you any direction i would say run the hell away <laughs> Because it is not good. It is bad. Um, I mean, our best hits were Sam Ellinger and uh, Jalen Waddle season's greetings. And then our rookies, half of them are like no names. Uh, we didn't get any uh, any top QBs, like nobody. Um, but the Megas could be way better, you know? So Tredavious White, Melvin Gordon. Yeah, okay, so he's still in the uh, Broncos. Fred Warner. Okay. Ho-ho! <laughs> Bang! Ya yeah, boy, Trevor Lawrence to 299 extra points. Wow, that is nice. It doesn't have like the refractor look, it's a red, but it's out of 299. So I guess they're like different colors if that's the case. Um, that is wow. Okay, that's a super nice hit. Um, okay, Brandon Ayuk, little extra points there. The regular refractor. This one looks a little different than the other ones, like the design looks different. That's interesting. It's not numbered, though. Yeah, this design versus the rookie, maybe it's just because there's a rookie, Sam Ellinger might be different. I don't know. All right, we've got another extra points out of 199. Anthony Barr. He's got to be like a linebacker or edge, for sure. Right? Does it say? Hmm. It doesn't say his position, so I'm not sure. Put him right there. We've got a powerhouse, Aaron Jones. Little nice little insert there. Let's move this out the way. All right. Chuba Hubbard or Chuba Hubbard. I'm not sure what to think about Hubbard. I mean, he's behind Christian McCaffrey. So, you know, is there going to be any, I mean, unless Christian McCaffrey gets hurt again, uh, that's the only time I see Chuba being able to do anything. Uh, maybe he might be a change of pace back. So they take some, they take some momentum off of uh, Christian McCaffrey because I feel like with Sam Darnold, I have no idea how it's going to go, but I feel like it can't be really good. So I feel like they're going to rely heavily on the run game. And that's just not that, you know, that's not good for uh, McCaffrey. Christian uh, Barmore. Defensive tackle. He might be uh, in the starting lineup. And then we got an Elijah Moore. I 
I'm expecting a lot of good things from Elijah Moore. I mean, I think now with the QB change, um, since they got rid of Sam Darnold and now they're taking on the rookie, I feel like uh, Zach Wilson has like a really good shot to to do something special with the Jets, and he's looked great in preseason. So yeah, we're you know fingers crossed. All right. Um, so what was that pack? That was the first pack. Yeah. We and we hit we struck gold in that first pack, which is nice. Um, Aaron Donald, Darius Slayton, Travis Fulgham. Ooh, got an extra points. T Higgins. It's really hard to like see the name on this unless you hit it out like a certain angle. Second year T. What's this? We got a Kenny Nuanglu. Wongwu. Extra points rookie. Uh, he's a running back for the Vikings. Well, I can definitely tell you he's not going to be anywhere close to starting. That's for sure. I haven't even heard of this guy. He's behind Dalvin Cook and Madison. Yeah, he's not getting any playing time. Oh, okay. Extra points. Who is this? Steve Largent. Oh, throwback. Any given Sunday. Holy crap. Extra points. That's nice. Little cool little insert there out of 199. And then we have a Kyle Pitts. Season's greetings. That's not bad at all. What do you guys think about Kyle Pitts? Do you think he's going to be a, a rock star tight end for Atlanta? I mean, they've been, they've been in dire need of one for a long time now. So we got a J.C. Horn. Could be a, a really devastating uh, cornerback for the Panthers. Ooh, Rashad Bateman, who is hurt, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Tamari and Terry. Okay. I mean, honestly, there is a lot of really solid rookies in this class all over. Um, I think it just really depends on game time performance at the end of the day. And then if there's a kid report, if you want to take a look at that. All right. So this obviously is the best card that we pulled. Uh, we pulled a Seasons Greetings Jalen Waddle. We also pulled a Seasons Greetings Kyle Pitts. Um, we didn't really pull like crazy rookies here. I mean, you know, we didn't pull any of the top um, QBs. We pulled some wide receivers, some running backs. I mean, you know, nothing to, to go crazy over. Um, we got two more packs. So let's see if, you know, there's anything else that kind of stands out. We're hoping that we hit something big. Um, I mean, we already have one big, big hit here. The Trevor Lawrence numbered. I'm sure that goes for uh, a good amount. All right. We have a Cole Beasley. We have a Joe Mixon. Oh, Michael Carter. I almost forgot that uh, there were autographs in here. Nice Michael Carter extra points. It's unfortunately a sticker, which is kind of sucks, but... And you've already seen what is behind Michael Carter. Boom. No way. This is not what I think it is, right? It's Why is it backwards? Holy crap! No way, bro! Holy shnikes! That Wait, it says find one autograph. We just got two back-to-back, -back and one of them is a Trevor Lawrence. Holy crap, dude. That is so sick. Oh my gosh, I was like literally saying like the box is all right. And I forgot about the autograph. And then I open the pack and I see one card like turned around and I'm just kind of like, what? Oh, there is an autograph. And then we pulled the Michael Carter. So I was like, you know, Michael Carter, not bad. I think he has a real chance to to do something in, in with the Jets, to be honest, because they don't have anybody. And then we pulled the Trevor Lawrence auto. That is so sick. I don't think it's numbered though. No, it's not numbered. It's just a, a extra points uh, red. But we got the Trevor Lawrence auto there. The Trevor Lawrence numbered rookie. And then we have the Michael Carter rookie too. That is so sick. We got dual autos in a prestige box. I want to say I saw that on someone else's channel. And I don't think it's supposed to be like that at all. I think that's a huge mistake. But hey, we will take that all day. And then I think the extra points is a... David, I can't, oh, Bakhti, Bakhtiari. Okay, I could not see the last name. There's a little chip on the edge here, though. It looks like he got, maybe that's the, 
looks like it's peeling maybe or the it got dented i'm not sure but it's fine it's not like uh we were hoping for big things there and then we got a Minshew magic out of 249 there a little blue Minshew magic okay nothing nothing too crazy all right and then we got terrell davis oh oh look who shows up unfortunately kyle trask is behind the goat so you know we're not really sure when he's going to show up or how long brady's going to be but brady's going to give him a lot um in terms of you know his transitioning and, and just development as a qb so i think him being under tom brady and being with the bucks is huge for his development um i think it's going to be a big one i'm really expecting big things out of trask um but we'll never know until he plays and, you know, we could say so much about him being in um, preseason, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's preseason. So then we got Larry Roundtree. I've heard of this guy, but who did he play for? Mizzou? I'm not sure. Yeah, Missouri. Okay. All right, cool. And then we got a Zach Wilson. Okay. Dang. All right. That, uh, that pack. All right. Um, we haven't even, you know, we have one pack left, but I mean, we've already stolen the show with the Trevor Lawrence. Like when we saw the Trevor, the number Trevor Lawrence, I was like, wow, okay, we're doing great. We saw the Michael Carter. I was like, okay, uh, you know, until he, he's not like top class running back, um, you know, based on the draft. I'm not saying he doesn't have exceptional talent because, uh, from the little bits that we've seen, we haven't been able to make such a you know judgment call. He could you know blow up during the season and just be a standout running back. Um, and then we hit the Trevor Lawrence. I was, oh man, it threw me for a loop because the Trevor Lawrence was turned around and I was like, please don't play with me right now. There's no way that this Trevor Lawrence is also an auto. We turn it around, it's an auto. I'm just blown away, man. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen either. Back-to-back -back autos out of this product. Oh, man. Oh, this is crazy. This this is going to be insane. Deshaun Watson, DeForest Buckner, Sam Darnold, Kareem Hunt, Rookie. Who's this? Mm, what does that say? Nick. Oh, Nick Bolton. Oh, Nick Bolton. Yeah, I, I think Kansas City's uh, defense might be a little stacked with Nick Bolton, to be honest. Nick, nice little Nick Bolton there. Oh, what is this? Is this Pat Fryermuth? Oh, man. Look at that. 71 of 75 extra points. Pat Fryermuth. It's so hard to see his name, though. Like, the colors are just blending in with his name. But... As soon as I saw the 87 and the uh, Steelers, I was like, oh, you know, and the tight end. I mean, it just, you know, gives it away. Oh, Kirk Cousins. I should eat this card. I should eat this card right here. Oh, man. Franchise favorites my... <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Franchise favorites. Get out of here. Why is he even on that card? Oh, it's so unfortunate. Amir Smith, Marset, okay, for the Vikings. Kyle Pitts and uh, Jake Funk, running back. Hmm. I'm. I think Jake Funk is another one that I I haven't uh, haven't heard of. But all right, guys. So what do you think? Uh, you think I made out like a bandit? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna have to say that. Uh, that was basically the steal of the night, hitting double autographs, double rookie autographs. I'm not sure. I'm assuming like every autograph in this set is a rookie. I don't know. I haven't I haven't pulled enough to to see. I'll have to do some some research. But um, there's a lot of different things that you can get in this set. You know, SP extra points, signatures, premium pink, premium black. There's a lot of really good stuff in in, in the set. Um, but yeah, my thoughts on the product, um, just from opening one and just from opening the original blaster, um, I love the megas way more. Uh, obviously you get better chances at parallels, hypers, um, the extra points, um, some of the inserts. And I just, I think the blaster, you're obviously taking more of a chance at hitting them. And, you know, I bought them at retail. So 20 bucks versus I think the megas were, I want to say 30 or 40. 
if I'm not mistaken, I think they were 40. Um, so I think the Megas are more bang for your buck. Definitely pick them up if you get them. Uh, the Blasters, you know, they're 20 bucks, right? So I think that we probably got a decent amount, nothing like insanely crazy um, based on, you know, the comps that I've seen for the product. Um, but yeah, hitting double autographs, if it was like this every single time and then hitting the Trevor Lawrence, obviously this is random, right? I just happened to pick one that just had bangers in it. Uh, yeah, no, I definitely love this product. Probably going to open more of it. We'll see. I'm not really sure yet. Um, and oh, in the future, um, I am going to be, uh, doing a mystery pack opening, uh, probably between 50 and hundred packs on whatnot. Um, so definitely be sure to add me. I'll put all my information in the, uh, in the description. Um, so check that out. Um, definitely add me on there. So that way, you know, when I'm going to debut on whatnot. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you like the product, definitely go pick it up. Uh, and of course, you know, if you like this video, like comment, subscribe, and always remember guys, keep those vibes alive and I will see you guys next time.